Okay, hi Rapunzel ladies, this is Rachel here, and I'm with my very good friend named Sarah, and we're both feeling very awkward because we've never made a <laughs> tutorial together, but we're really excited because we're here today to show you all of the Rapunzel essential tools, but for short hair. You might have seen the video under wraps for people who already have a bun. Sarah, as you can see, does not. She has very super duper short hair. A lot of these essential tools will work excellent for people like Sarah if you have short hair, but some of the other ones, not so well. And we get a lot of questions from women who maybe have short hair or no hair at all, asking about which, you know, volumizer they should buy, which product will work, and this will hopefully answer those questions, I think. Right. <laughs> um, okay, so we've decided we're going to go from smallest to largest in terms of volume size with the Rapunzel products. And the uh, bottom of that would be the Rapunzel Signature Shaper. And it has an attached velvet headband and Velcro, so it's adjustable to fit all head sizes. It even has, wait, there you go, the Rapunzel logo. It's extra special, super great. Um, because it has the velvet headband attached, you don't need a separate one. And if you're not sure what a velvet headband does, it prevents your scarf from slipping. So there's no need to rewrap or adjust your scarves throughout the day. So it's really great. And I think we'll just get going. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, right. So, but Sarah, you have to help me if I'm putting it on you in a way that's not comfortable. Because <laughs> thankfully, you know how these are supposed to fit and how they don't. Right? I think. Yes. So, well, if you want them covering, I usually yeah, right. have There's mine a, covering my ears a little bit. Some people put them right. behind their ears. But Very yeah. good point. There's a choice there. Some women prefer to wear the velvet headband behind their ear like this and then to wrap over that. Either you could do the scarf over the ear or behind. Some women like to do it over. So that's something you play around with until you figure out what works best for you. And if Sarah can turn to the side, we can show you that it adds just a really little small amount of poof. Um, you will not end up with like a Nefertiti big poofy head with this. However, we have a lovely scarf to show you ladies how it will look under a scarf. And that is the pedal pusher. Excuse me, I had to think of the name. All right, so I can't see the front of your head. You want me to turn around? Is this okay? I think that's probably okay. They can see from the side. Okay. And then we'll just do, you know what? I will just do a quick knot. I won't even bother with a full regal wrap. So this is the poof you will get with a signature shaper with no volume underneath. Um, you can, if some women I know will have this shaper and they maybe don't want to or don't have the means to get another shaper, but want a little bit bigger poof. You can always tie a underscarf like on first and then wrap over that. That will add some size. Or if you do have enough hair for a little itty bitty ponytail, we sell the, um, oh my gosh, Umtastic scrunchies, which will add a lot more volume under there as well. So can you turn the front so they can get a, a front view too? This is a great shaper if you don't want a lot of volume but just want a little something to give yourself a bump on the back or to smooth out your ponytail that you already have. Works very well. Fancy schmancy, which is our, I think, saying. <laughs> Sarah and <Yes>. I. <laughs> anyway, next up in terms of size is the ultimate volumizer which we were actually just talking about and Sarah was saying works really well, right? This For is you? the one that I use on a daily basis. I don't need to add, how do you say, clown car stuff in there, stuff, a bunch of stuff <laughs> underneath there so I can get the volume I want. I mean, if you want like a whole Rastafarian thing going on, then, then go for it. But usually on a daily basis, this is the one I end up using all the time. Yeah. I don't need anything extra. I don't need to put an underscarf on top of it, and then whatever I want on top, I can just use this. And it does. We were actually just talking about the poof size and the difference with the signature shaper. And the signature, which is the black one in this hand, and then the ultimate, which is the white one in this hand, you can see here, there's, there's actually like a noticeable size and poof. Um, it's really a much larger step up. 
But if you don't already have a bun or a ponytail on your own, it's highly unlikely that this is going to make you look like you have, you know, a really honking amount of volume right. back there. It's still going to look pretty natural and normal and close to your head, I think. Right. Um, it does have the Velcro on this one. I know it's worth noting that it has a much wider band of Velcro. So it, this one can accommodate larger head sizes, whereas the signature one might be kind of pushing the limits there because it has shorter Velcro. Right. Um, again, the same excellent velvet headband. And uh, let's put it on. All right. See how it looks. So would you say this is like your everyday one? That, yes. I mean, I know you don't wrap your hair every day, but this is what you usually just like go for? Yes, this is yeah. usually the typical one. Like I don't, I like it because I don't have to do anything extra. But I mean, of course, like some, depending on what you're going, what look exactly you're going for, that's what shaper you're going to want to use. But on a regular, everyday basis, this is the one I go for. That's really nice. And I know a lot of ladies really like having the, vel the velvet headband sewn in too so they don't even have to worry about exactly having a separate one and being a mom it just makes it so much easier where I just you know he's screaming for me all <laughs> I have to do is just put oh this on gosh. and do my quick 15 second wrap that is and so, I'm good <laughs> that is such a big deal guys <laughs> I don't have I, to worry about fiddling yeah. extra pieces basically which is nice I have a young child as well and I can definitely attest to that when you have got to go you have got to go exactly. <laughs> and having it all built in sometimes is really nice so yeah actually you can see this really does make it look like Sarah has a much bigger bun I mean her head I think ends like about here the mm -hmm. back of her head so this is all poof and if you want it lower down you can always wear it farther back on your head so that the poof will you know be lower down I know some women like that too should we get a front view? I don't know <laughs> if that's helpful. Sorry. Yeah. It's really hard to wrap somebody else. You have to get used to that. So. Yeah, it's actually really pretty. <laughs> and I like the scarf on you. Thank you. Very nice. It's fancy. Yeah. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> All right. So next up in terms of size is the classic shaper, which is, I think, one of my personal favorites. If the ultimate's Sarah's favorite, the classic might be mine. And this one does not have the velvet headband sewn in. It is a bonnet style. So it has it would fit over your it fits over your head, and then it has two ties in the back that you tie behind your neck and then you tuck them in underneath so they're hidden. This one I always say, if you have no hair or little hair, this is a really surefire way to get a lot of volume. Mm -hmm. I have very short hair myself, and for a long time wore just this, and it could give me like a really sizable amount of volume, definitely more than the Ultimate Shaper. That's right, we were talking about size mm -hmm. difference too. We couldn't agree on this, but I think <laughs> that the Classic Shaper, which is the bonnet style, mm -hmm. and the Ultimate Shaper, which has the band already, has more volume. I you think can, you're right, I think yeah, <laughs> you can. It's kind of hard to see on the camera. But this one, um, it definitely gives you a bigger poof. I mean, whether or not it has a lot more volume, I don't really know. It definitely appears to. But it gives you a definitely more sizable poof than the Ultimate Shaper here. The only difference is that it's the bonnet style, and so you need a separate whoops, velvet headband to be worn underneath it. And we'll show you how to do that now. The... Um, Logo, which you'll find printed inside the velvet headband, should be wore above your left ear. That way you'll know that the velvet is facing the right way and will actually hold your scarves in place. And again, this can be done over or under the ears. Is that good for you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll just I think we've got a size small one here. Oh, <laughs> I do have a big gourd, but you know, it's, it's good. It's good. <laughs> Fabulous. So then you take your classic shaper and you place it over your head. You want me to turn? Uh, sure. The ladies can see what I'm doing, I guess. Sorry. And you, it's okay. Oh, right, excuse me. You want to leave, sorry, you want to leave some of the velvet exposed underneath. And what that means is that when you wrap your scarf over this, the little bit of velvet that's showing there will actually work to hold your scarf in place as well and not just the volumizer. 
So you tie a knot, and then you just put the ties into the back right here. And now you'll see that just tying it on that way has left Sarah with what looks like very low volume. And I'm actually going to show you two ways to tie this. The first way will be with low volume, and the second way with high. So, we'll fold the lovely pedal pusher scarf again. And so, when I bring it around now, it's just above or it's just, you know, going over that front edge of the Velcro. And tie the knot. Okay. So look at that. You can see, like, here's the top of Sarah's head. And then here is the top of the volumizer. This is, like, a really respectable amount of volume. I mean, it's pretty shocking. I think that... For me, you know, if I were to see a woman walking around with a headscarf on like this and she wasn't wearing a volumizer, I would assume she had a ton of hair. Um, I know Sarah did a lovely video with her husband, who is totally bald, and she <laughs> modeled this classic shaper on him. And it's amazing, like a totally bald man, and it looks like he has this big, you know, like Rastafarian style, <laughs> you know, amount of hair under a scarf. It's really awesome. But if you don't like the low volume look with this one, there is a very easy way to get it up higher, and I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So, basically, I'm just going to leave this around your shoulders, if you don't mind. When you go to tie on the Classic Shaper, instead of just putting it on like so, if you fold down the front, there's a lot of fabric here, so it'll fit even women with a lot of hair and a lot of heads. If you fold down the front some, and then go to tie it on. That shortens the amount of fabric that's up here, and you'll be left with volume that stays up higher much more, much more easily. Much more, much more easily? I don't know, whichever one of those made sense. So, you tuck in the ties, and then we put on the scarf. Thank you, madam. And you'll see, this is actually something that took me a long time to figure out, ladies. It was, I don't know, it's an easy fix, but for some reason I just didn't think of it at first. But look at that now. It is like, this is, this is definitely going for the much higher volume style look. And it looks great on Sarah. It's really amazing to look at this and think that you have like such short, what is your hair, like an inch or something under there? I don't even know. Two inches? Well, on top, yeah. Yeah, barely anything. <laughs> <laughs> like a quarter of an inch on the side, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And I know there might be a little more learning curve with this one, just because it has the ties. But I found that it really didn't take me long to figure out how to use it. I mean, did, was it tricky for you to figure out how to use? No? You don't no, it actually that wasn't that bad at all. Yeah. I mean, if you don't mind, if you want more volume than the Ultimate Shaper can give you, and you don't mind having a separate... Um, velvet headband, you know, needing the velvet headband and the volumizer, this is really a good option. And I found, you know, I have really short hair and I'm really picky about how my volume looks. When I wear turbans, nine times out of ten, this is the shaper that I use because for turbans, I like to have just a little bit of volume in the back and because most of the scarf tails are worn in the front, I don't like having a whole lot of right. long <laughs> volume right. back there. For my personal preference, this is just like a favorite for mine for turbans. I think it right. works really well. If you have no or little hair, it just kind of rounds out and gives you a nice shape. It looks like you have some hair back there, but not like right. va-va-voom, alien head sort of thing. But speaking of va-va-voom, alien head sort of thing, we can now move on to our last option. I'll put this around your shoulders again. Okay. Which is a very new release to the Rapunzel store, but has quickly become a major, super-duper, uber-blooper fan favorite, and for very good reason. And that is the Wendy Beret Volumizer, which, as Sarah pointed out, looks just like a... Chef hat. It chef does. hat. Yes. Perfect. My husband calls it a tuffet. <laughs> he said to me, I don't know what a tuffet is exactly, but if Little Miss Muffet was here, she would probably be sitting on that. Yes. That's, that's what he said to me. Um, 
it is incredible. It has the attached velvet headband, but it doesn't have any Velcro. It just has a lot of stretchy velvet, so it will fit many different head sizes. And on the inside, it actually has a hole right here where you can take out stuffing or add stuffing to get your own personal preference. Nice. It's fabulous. Honestly, a lot of women who like having a variety and volume sizes can get away with just having a Wendy because they can change it daily. If they want just a little bit for a turban or right. if they want a lot for whatever, this is like perfect and incredible. When you first get it though, this is a brand new one. It is going to have lumps. So one way, usually when you wrap it, they get compressed pretty good, but if you find that yours is too lumpy, if you just kind of work, you know, the stuffing around like this, I always suggest people do it while they watch TV, you know, because it can sometimes take a little while. Eventually, the stuffing will work together, and it'll just be like one giant poof in there instead of a lumpy lumpiness. Um, all of these, by the way, are available in black and white. I don't think I mentioned that, except for the classic shaper, which sometimes has other colors, like this lovely purple here. Pretty fancy. Yeah. So this is Sarah's first time wearing a Wendy, and she's excited. really, really excited <laughs> <laughs> because she's been hearing about them for so long. I get so, to be a chef today. I'm so excited. Not take a look at yourself because, I love it. girl, this is like. <laughs> <laughs> now, needless to say, <laughs> if you have short hair or no hair and you want a lot of volume, this is what you should do. I'm actually wearing a Wendy today as well, but it doesn't have all the stuffing in it, so I'm I'll actually show. surprised that it's like elastic. Like it's really on there, but it doesn't. F and I have a big head. It doesn't feel like it's like squeezing my head. It actually is really comfy. I'm I have been surprised. I don't. I don't think I have a big head. I think mine's probably average sized, but I have never felt yeah, like the Wendy was really too tight. Comfy. And I know, like any velvet headband, you know, or volumizer, the band will stretch oh. over time. And one solution I know that a lot of women use is to put it in the dryer after you wash it. And I put it in a delicates bag, though, so it doesn't get snagged on anything. Um, but that, I know, will sometimes help them shrink down a little bit and kind of get a tighter fit if it's stressed out. I mean, I've been using the same two Wendy's for a very long time, and I haven't noticed much, if any, stretch with mine. Um, but, of course, that's different for everybody. So, yes, this is like... It's really Incredible. Cozy. Yeah. I like it. Oh, it's fabulous. And there's a set we have a separate tutorial that just shows how to use the Wendy. So there are ways to make the volume higher or lower in the middle. I'm not gonna go over all that right now so much, but I will probably show you two different ways, maybe, just to do it higher and lower real quick. A lot of volume, ladies. Be prepared for like <laughs> total va va boom, you know, oomph. Look at that, guys. <laughs> I can feel it. If, yeah, I mean, if you want really high volume, and I know a lot of my Israeli friends really say this is like the style with a lot of women in Israel and, and elsewhere, this is like, hello. <laughs> um, you can also shape, and actually look at that. I mean, the volumizer was, the stuffing was pretty lumpy, but it smoothed out pretty good. And if I were to wrap the tails around you, actually, maybe I'll do that real quick. You probably wouldn't even see the lumps, I bet, so bad. Or so much. Even though this is one that hasn't really, you know, been broken in yet. So. Tail number one. And. Tail number two. Wow, I actually don't see any of those lumps in the back now from this brand new, fresh, unworked Wendy. So that is the high volume with the Wendy. And again, incredible to think, oh, oops, incredible to think that Sarah has pretty much no this volume is... of her own. Wow. Look at that, with one volumizer. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Yes, before the Wendy entered my life, I had to do a lot of things to get exactly the volume style I wanted, but now with the Wendy, it's like, no problem at all. That is pretty Yeah, like that. fabulous schnauzelis. <laughs> I'll show you guys just real quick the low volume with this, because it okay. does give a totally different look. Um, if you find that you've gotten your Wendy, and it just has way too much stuffing in it for you, you can obviously take some out. 
if you take some out, a lot of women have found too, that it becomes easier to wear it lower down because there's just less stuffing on the top of your head. But here, I actually want to take it off to show you. One of the tricks that Wendy herself taught me about this that you can do is grab the edges in together like this. You can either do it two-handed or one-handed all together and do this. Oh. <laughs> and what that okay. does is it kind of works the stuffing together and then will also make it more towards the middle of your head when you put it on because it's less spread out. Okay. That's she cool. said, right. Yeah. That's really cool. So, right. Check I know. out your frustrations and on the kinda, windy. Right. It's kind of fun. <laughs> And the other trick, which I personally like to implement, because I don't like super duper duper duper, you want to move that where it's comfortable for you. There you go. All right. Once it's on my head, I will hold the velvet headband against my head so nothing slips back, and then just kind of work the volume down like this. And you can see already that that's starting to move it downward. So then when you go to wrap, it won't be so high up. Okay. Alrighty. Last one. Oops. Alright. So now you can also grab the tails really tight, sort of in the back. This takes practice. And when you do that, it will move the volume of the Wendy down even more. Actually, you can do that with all your volumizers, but it's especially effective with the Wendy, I've found. So, is that good? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Low volume at the and that's actually like a lot lower. I mean, mm -hmm. it's a huge difference. It's no longer like Nefertiti way up here. It's down low. I like that one. Yeah. I mean, they're both pretty. I loved the big one too. Like, it really was. Like I felt like Erica Baidu. I loved it. Yeah. I yeah, loved right. it. It's beautiful. But yeah, this is really. Yeah, all of these are really great. Honestly, like such life-changing devices for everybody who wraps their hair, but truly for women with short hair like you and I, mm -hmm. we know the struggle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the struggle is very real. Like before, I know when I first started wrapping, I was actually just telling Sarah, all I had was a signature shaper. And with no hair, that's just, it wasn't enough for some styles. It wasn't enough poof for me. I would wrap my tails around and they might sometimes slip back off the back of my head because there wasn't enough there. I would have to like stuff it with things, you know, and wear underscarves and stuff. Um, because of these, it's so much easier. Exactly. It speeds up the process of wrapping and it allows you to, I, I think, honestly, have more joy with the entire mitzvah because really you don't have to worry about stress. Because of the velvet headband, you don't have to worry about your scarf slipping off throughout the day. I know the very first time I wrapped my head, I did not have a velvet headband yet. And all day long, I was pulling it forward. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every time I went to the bathroom, I had to rewrap. I'm like, oh, what's going on? What's going on? Guys, like, total game shaver, changer, life-changing device. If anything, velvet headband is definitely the way to go. But these are how they work with short hair. And they're awesome. And, and they're awesome. They're awesome. I absolutely love them. And another thing is, like, it's really, really hard when people, like, ask me, like, which one would you get if you had to get only one? That's a really, really difficult thing. Like I said, usually, like, the ultimate ends up being my favorite just out of convenience. But it's really hard to just have one because you'll see these styles, whether you'll see it on Instagram or you find it on YouTube or you find it on Pinterest, and you're like, I did exactly what they said. Why is it not turning out like that? Well, that's because your volumizer is different. So it's like, depending on the style, you're going to need a different volumizer. So me, I do have three of them at home. I do have, I'm, I always get the name wrong. Please correct me if I'm... If <laughs> signature. I'm, okay. I do, <laughs> I do have the signature. Small spoof. I do have the classic. And I do have Medium the ultimate. Move. The only one I don't yeah. have is the Wendy. But yes, it's depending on... You technically could get away with just having one. But For I, sure, because, like, there's methods, you know, to right. make one volumizer work. But And that's another thing I think that the Wendy is so great because with just one, you can switch them around, take out some of the poof one day, add more. You might even want to add, like, more of the fiber filling than we send them to you with. Exactly. Some women do that, and it's, like, you know, yes. way <laughs> out there. There's truly one here for everybody, exactly. and finding the exactly. one that's right for you is important. You might not want a lot of volume, or you might want this bad boy, chef's hat, here. I like the chef's hat. This 
So like my new favorite one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sarah came shopping at Rachel's house today. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it, ladies. If you, if you have any questions, please post them below, and we will work really hard to answer them for you. We'll put links to all these products down below there as well. Um, I'm so glad that we were finally able to make this video. I know after Naomi and Andrea made their first under wraps video, we've had a lot of requests for ones for women with short hair. I'm hopeful that this was helpful. I know it was for me just to go over them. Yeah. Refresher yes, of, of all this yes, information. Yes, I actually didn't know the thing about the classic where you can make it higher. I was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. I something today. <laughs> that was nice. Yeah, the folding down the front of the classic's a good trick. I like that one. Oh, no, yeah, okay. so. All right. Bye-bye. See ya.